This is Twit. There is a web site called Camel, Camel, Camel. Yes, we've yeah. talked about it on Know How. Yeah, I know you talked about it a couple of weeks ago, which is really good for tracking kind of like historical data around Amazon pricing. Mm -hmm. So if you, you know, have your eye on the, the Galaxy S7 and you want to know like what is the lowest price Amazon's ever offered that, to like, or, or, you know, what I do sometimes is I'll go there and they'll, they'll have like a sale price on something. I'll go to camel, camel, camel and realize, oh, they have the sale price like every 30 days and then it goes up yeah. and then it comes back down. So I feel less of that kind of like, oh, it's only on sale right now. Like I got to think, do I really want this right now? Or sometimes you'll realize like, holy cow, it's never been this inexpensive. The problem is camel, camel, camel. There's no app for Android, you could just save the website and visit it on, you know, on, in your web browser, uh, but there's no app. So I did some searching and I found an app called Fluctuate. And Fluctuate is actually a universal price tracker. There's a free version or you can pay uh, $2.99 to kind of get unlocked uh, version of this. You can see earlier today, I put in the Jabra Elite 65T. I love these in-ear headphones. They're my favorites right now. Um, I put it in and when I put it in, I well, it looks like the price where it's tracking at Amazon right now has increased by 2% since mm. I put it in earlier. The Essential phone I put in earlier today, and it decreased by 33% since I put it in there. So it's now, at a, it's, really, it's now at $190, but it was, oh, I see. It saved $190, yes. decreased 32%. When I put it in, it was $578. It's now current price, $388. If I go to buy, it, buy now, it'll take me through to Amazon and you'll see 388, uh, 84. So this is a way for you to track products. Um, you can you don't just have to track them on Amazon, but I'll show it off on Amazon. If I was to go to let's say the Essential Earphones HD, hopefully this works. This is a demo, and I find the share button because this is the Amazon web page that I'm on right now. So I'm not in the app. So I guess I could go up here and go share. And then when I share, I would find fluctuate, share to fluctuate. It turns on it a little bit. Hopefully it recognizes it. The first time I did this, it had our time, but it recognized it. So it says essential earphones, $78. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. So now it has added an entry down here and it's monitoring for that. It's going to track the price over time. What I can then do is I can go up to this little bell here and I can say, if this, uh, which is normally 78, if this ever drops to $70, set the threshold, notify me. And then where it's tracking at Amazon, if that, those essential earphones ever drop below $70, that's my threshold and that's my, my ticket to buy, essentially. I, I see that, I go, okay, well, I'm gonna jump on this right now. If you pay the $2.99, you end up getting kind of this little price history and it tracks as long as you're tracking, I think. So I bet if you go down here, it'll update at some point to kind of make that adjustment. It's not right now. Um, Oh, so you can see right here. So this is the essential phone, right? Like when I put it in earlier today, it was all the way up there above 560. And now over time, uh, in the last 24 hours, it's dropped down. So you can kind of see. And if you go to Camel, 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 you'll see these. But I mean, they cover the history of the product over years on Amazon. So it's really interesting to see how Amazon plays with its pricing and why it does it at certain times. This is kind of like that. It's, it's really uh, very very close to that. And this isn't, like I said, just locked into Amazon. Uh, you could do this to track uh, flights. You could do this to track a number of different things. You just share to it, or you can copy the URL and paste it in, and it will kind of churn on that and then say, hey, is this is this the product that you want to track? And uh, you can say yes and put in your little, your price point, or just have it in there and casually track it over time. And when it crosses that threshold, you buy it. You buy the thing and hopefully you saved some money in the process. So it's called Fluctuate Universal Price Tracker. It's free. Uh, you can kind of open up the kind of price history uh, information down there for $2.99. I think there's some other uh, added features in there as well. But uh, that's it. Fluctuate.